We want to turn our attention to politics right now. President Hu Jintao's visit to Washington today as part of that visit. He will meet with congressional leaders where he is expected to get a rather chilly reception. Unlike last night, of course, where he was the guest of honor at a star-studded state dinner. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has more on President Hu's visit. He joins us this morning. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Eric. A chilly reception on Capitol Hill because the U.S.-China relationship has been in a rocky place for a long time. And this visit is about trying to find a way forward despite the disagreements over human rights and trade. And that's why President Hu got the full Washington White House treatment. The historic visit from the Chinese president continued with all the pomp of a state dinner. The official greeting on the North Portico, then into the state dining room, bathed in mood lighting. The A-list affair included former President Clinton, Barbara Streisand, and Jackie Chan, who dined on Maine lobster and ribeye steak before the entertainment. Jazz great Herbie Hancock, Chinese pianist Lang Lang. Earlier, the mood was cooler. At a joint press conference, President Obama said that he had challenged President Hu on China's human rights record. I have been very candid uh, with President Hu about these issues. Uh, occasionally, they are a source of tension between our two governments. President Hu ignored a question on the subject, claiming his translation device wasn't working. The White House sources said it was. Asked again, he said that China had made progress but admitted... The lot still needs to be done in China in terms of human rights. On a more promising note, Hu's meetings with President Obama and U.S. business leaders brought pledges of closer cooperation between the U.S. and China. We want to sell you all kinds of stuff. With China holding nearly $900 billion worth of U.S. bonds, Washington is eager for the Chinese to buy more U.S. goods, enforce intellectual property rights like software, provide better access to China for U.S. business, and to continue the devaluation of Chinese currency. The administration was able to announce a $45 billion deal in trade and export, and also able to sign up the two pandas at Washington's National Zoo for five more years. Erica? And that is excellent news. Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Bill, thanks.